Yeah, I'm, I'm just. I rather go to a place where, where you know, where 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 really I I play a better role in. in, in I, I can play a good role in, in kind of making it happen. Okay, they are all my dogs. Okay, so. This is the thing with trading, okay? So we know, now, now we have a problem, right? We know that assets are going to fall or ringgit is going to fall. Uh, property, I'm ready. I just, I hope I can, I can sell one property before the ringgit goes down more. I really hope so. Uh, you know, but because I bought it at a low price. In fact, I'm, I'm, I'm really selling at a very, very low price. Okay, even the real estate was, the real estate agent was really shocked, you know? Willing to throw at that price, yeah, willing to throw it. I got it for cheaper. <laughs> so I got it from a desperate buyer. So now, even though I'm desperate, I can still make good money on that on Nola. Okay, I'm just selling off because I want to be in cash, I want to be in US dollar or gold, and when all this storm goes back, I want to deploy that money where I can make the most money next time. Okay, so trading is very difficult. We want to focus, we want to get our sleep, we want to focus on our jobs, we want to focus on our career thing is when you want to go on trading like uh, you know most of other people are teaching let's be frank here do you really have the time okay. the idea is i don't think you really have the time then uh, do you really have balls of steel or platinum to withstand the up and down the up and down i don't think so i think and when you go into trading you will know right which is why many people fail anyway when they're in the heat of the moment, they make very bad decisions that result in losses. They get very stressed, like the guy on the screen there. And is the timing correct? I, for one, want to catch markets during large moves. Okay, you don't want to catch market during small moves. It's very hard to trade, you know. It's better not to trade. So after this, I'll show you why that I think this is the time to catch another move down. Okay, down, okay. Uh, we don't know when it will happen, but we know it will happen because it's already been 2008. They always say there's a 10-year cycle, right? So 2008, things, things have to start happening in 2018. That's one. 2019 or 2030. Okay, so it is going to happen. Don't know when. I'll tell you when. Uh, yeah, the billionaire mentor should know when when it's going to happen. So, I just make I, I just want to make sure that I am already there. I am there and, and, and really ready to take action. Okay. So again, uh, as far as the depreciating currency is concerned, I'm not really worried. Okay, I'm not really worried about uh, me uh, about depreciation now. Uh, I see in Pakistan people are happy. Uh, People are dedicated to change. There are assets which rise and rise. They keep money in gold, gold bars. So having been in Pakistan, I know you can survive and maybe even thrive in an environment where the currency depreciates. I think people there, because of the uh, situation there, they have come to accept it. Okay? They really have come to accept all this. And this is really, really very, very good. Okay, uh, This is like, like we come to accept it. Whereas we in Malaysia, we're still complaining. We're still complaining. Okay. Okay. We shouldn't do that. Okay. We should still accept and, and, and really uh, start to move on. So, as long as uh, uh, we know that things are happening, I think things are happening now, we now need to know, you know, uh, we now need to know uh, what assets to buy and then how to position ourselves in the market. Really, this is what uh, this is about. Where do we position ourselves uh, in the market so that we can make uh, uh, maximum impact? So, the trading, the trading way that I advocate is not for you to kind of guess of where things are going. You have to know where things are going. Okay, you have to have the answer. Uh, you know, Malay says so. Alan Bocho, you have to have the set of questions. And you have to have the set of answers. And then you trade adjusting to that to that to that situation, okay? To that situation of the Soalan Bocho, which, which is happening. I would rather do that. So, so uh, this is the way we trade. It's, it's very, very different from 
from the way that uh, other people trade. So, uh, you know, the most important trading secret is you know the answer. You know where the markets are going to. That's all. You know where the markets are going to. You know the direction. You can put in your strategies. And then it's just a period of controlling the risk. By that, you will be able to make money. Lah. Not easy, eh? uh, but, but we'll show you how to do it. So, uh, you know, this is uh, Moses. So, uh, our Moses here is, is the billionaire mentor because he seems to know where the market is going. So, if we can use his overall predictions for the direction of the market and buy the assets and stick to the assets until they make money, then we will also make money. So uh, this is this is just one of our students that will talk. Sensation play, open my eyes, about how to make minimal Sensation play, open my eyes, about how to make money in a crypto, in minimal uh, capital. Even without capital, you can make money. And I've heard- uh, Can you believe that even in crypto, you can make money without capital? You know, you don't need capital to make money with crypto. So those are the money. one things that we found out last year. And they made a lot of money without capital, uh, zero capital, possible. So far. And, uh, and then from that, I learned a lot, a lot about other things uh, related to the economy, how the money goes in the world. So again, when you're doing all this, I think it's important to know the state of all the markets because uh, I think the biggest mistake we can do if we are only focusing on one, one market goes down, we cannot uh, compensate for the losses in that market. And then we continue to make mistakes and we put good money in a very bad investment and then we lose almost if not all the money. We don't want to do that. We want to have the choices on, on where we put money to maximize our gains. Okay, so again, this is where we need a bigger direction from someone who is really connected to the, uh, let's see, like the global investing community and Dash Sidious is there, okay? That will be the name of them, okay? So, uh, again, the way to trade, uh, I think it's, it's not difficult, it's easy, as long as you know where it's going to. You trade the patterns and you need to ignore the rest, okay? There are certain patterns that happen, okay? And one of the, uh, what we do uh, when, when I recommend things, and after you see my recommendations, and you're going to see the results also, uh, is, is I look at very, very common patterns, okay? As long as you find the common patterns, you just trade those patterns and you just ignore the rest, okay? And you should do it in a way that is also done asymmetrically. That means... You risk a little to make a lot of money. You don't need to risk a lot to make a little money. Don't ever do that. You will, you will die. Okay. So you manage your risk automatically, like the automatic millionaire. Let's see. Is this the video on asymmetric risk? So uh, one of the best uh, videos on asymmetric trading was done by uh, Anthony Robbins. Let's see how he describes it. Copy this. Copy. Let's go to this video here. Oops. Okay. Let me find that video uh, asymmetric trading. Okay, let's see that because that is really the principle that that I think uh, we need to use. Uh, let's go to YouTube. Listen to this video very carefully. Okay? Let's go to asymmetric trading. Fall to the Jones asymmetric trading. Share here. Let's go to new share and let's go to the pro. Okay. Okay, let's see how he does this. 
this is the way you should do things. If you cannot get this equation, don't don't come. If it were easy to make money in the stock market, everybody be doing it. They're not rich, and you know there's a reason why. I'm telling you, the stock market has changed my life, and I've learned some really simple techniques. Most investors think you take huge risks if you're going to have be a billionaire. Huge risks, to be really successful financially. The truth of the matter is, these great investors do not take those huge risks. The vast majority do not. Asymmetrical risk reward means they try to do the least amount of risk possible with the most upside. What's going on, investors? AK from Balbo here. And as you just saw in that clip, our favorite performance coaching mini trampoline jumping giant, which if you haven't seen him jump on his mini trampoline, definitely check it out because it's pretty funny. But Tony Robbins is talking about an extremely important concept here. And this market concept is asymmetrical betting. And I know like most of the time you want things to be symmetrical, right? For example, like an interior design, which as you can tell by this gray black land room is something I love to do. Or say for maybe even your face, which you want to be asymmetrical because if it's not, then you'd have a crooked face. And people would make fun of you, but at least you wouldn't need a mask on Halloween, right? But in the markets, asymmetry is the magic word that everyone is trying to achieve. And this asymmetry is not only important to make a ton of money, but it's also extremely important to make sure you don't blow up your account. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about in this video. Here's an example Tony gives of the market wizard Paul Tudor Jones and how he places asymmetric bets. He would look for investments where he didn't want to invest unless he believed if he invested $1, he could ultimately make five off that dollar, five to one. Now, he knows he's going to be wrong lots of times. And so he knows if I risk a dollar and I lose, I can risk another dollar and I'm still going to be up three. You follow? He could be wrong four times out of five and break even still. So that's the secret. See, a lot of investors are all focused on the upside of the trades that they put on. But what is way more important than the upside is the downside. That's what you need to be focused on. And asymmetry lets you actually cap that. See, the thing about markets is that the complexity embedded within them is infinite. There is no way to understand every little thing going on. And even the best investors, the masters of the universe, like Paul Tudor Jones, accept that. It's like that old saying, you know, a wise man knows what he doesn't know, which actually wouldn't be too bad of a pickup line, would it? They say a wise man knows what he doesn't know. And girl, I don't know, but I would love to know your Instagram. And eh, maybe it's not that good of a pickup line, but if it works for you, make sure you give me all the credit and tell whoever it works on to subscribe. But yeah, the best investors focus on asymmetry because they want as much leeway to screw up as they can get. They want the ability to screw up a bunch of times, but still make a ton of asymmetry. And this time, very, very important to say. You want to screw up and still make money. That is so critical. You, because you will screw up. Who says you won't screw up? Of course you screw up. But you still have to make money. And we go into some examples of this. Time is through Kyle Bass. Kyle Bass took $30 million in 2008 and 9 during the worst economic time in history and turned it into $2 billion in two years. How the hell do you do that? He never risked more than six cents to make a dollar. If he's wrong, he'd be wrong 15 times and still make money. Well, he wasn't wrong 15 times, which is how he turned 30 million into 2 billion. Okay, so how do you know if you're bad? See, so that's what you do because you, you, know, you can do it again and again and again and again. But in order to do this, remember that you need big movements like that, or big movements like that on, on any, any commodity. Yeah? And, uh, let me show you an example. I haven't made this call yet, you know, but I'm going to show you a real, real uh, simple example. I'm going to show you up to it. It's, it's, it's so obvious. You know? it's, it's amazingly obvious. Uh, scroll to Let's go to trading view. Let's go to trading view. Let's go to coffee. I may be recommending this in the near in our in our uh, our uh, what's that group? This is coffee. See, I told you I'm not for it, right? No, am I Bitcoin? <laughs> I don't care, guys. I just want to trade what makes money, yeah? Ah, I see Mr. Shahril wants his stick. 
So Cheryl wants his tip now. That's daily. Let's go monthly. Now, I don't know about you, but this is coffee, right? So now we're here, 92.8. Do you know that this is like a 13-year low? Just look at that. Isn't that something nice? Okay. And, and just look at here. See, there are two tops here, and then it goes down. And then it goes up. And then it goes down, and then it goes up. This 13-year low here. Okay. So look. I'm just looking at the patterns of the past, okay? Uh, okay, look. Two. Two, then it goes down. Two, then it goes down. So just looking at this, yeah, that's what I said. Just looking at this alone, you know and I know, and we don't know whether it's going to happen next week or not. We will see. The next move is going to go up. And that's where you get a big move. That's the way you do it. You know, just looking at simple things like this is what I like to look at. Okay, now, once upon a time, crypto was like this. Then I looked at it. Now, crypto, not like this. I don't look at it a lot. I just look at things that are like this. Now, another example is this. This is the US dollar Mexican peso. Again, up, down, up, down, up, down. Where do you think is going next? Up, down. Okay, just as simple as that. It's not easy to get it, love, but you know, you can, you can draw a line here. It just demonstrates this, uh, this uh, what do you call it? This is uh, something that's very, very, yeah, it's, it's a repeatable pattern, okay? It's something that happens again and again and again. Just look, look, look at the waves here. See, so we, we kind of tend to look uh, in things like, like this. Uh, another call that we made, uh, you know, those are in the group. We saw orange juice, right? It was orange juice. See, we even trade orange juice, okay? Yeah, I know. People say, yeah, 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 but you for us. Well, it doesn't matter, you know? Uh, you know, because this was a chart that I had. I think we were buying around here, right? We we're buying around here. See, it went up. Oh, that? And now it goes down. And now we wait. There might, there might be another signal for this. But then we're waiting again. But then we know now that when this is ready, guess where it's going to also? This, when it's ready, is going to go up again. And that's where a lot of money will be will be made. But just going from here to here on a small lot is about US 1000. So when we do trades, we target on a US 10,000 account to make around US $1,000. Okay, that's what we do. We don't want to play uh, Nila just for emphasis uh, so that you know where we're different. We're not going to emphasize the 20, 30 pips that other people do. Okay, and you, you talk about Forex, you talk about Forex traders, right? 20, 30 pips and all that, not interested. Not interested. Uh, you can say that on a 10, 15k account, I'm only interested, you know, lot sizing, assuming your lot sizing is not too big. We're just interested in doing trades that can go 1,000 US dollars. Okay, if not, I'm seriously not interested. I do not have time. Why? Because I don't have time to see the trades every single day. I don't have time to get stressed. I just want to put it and let it run. Okay? And let my emotions manage by myself. So let's see, uh, Nia, please look at our uh, WhatsApp to see whether I do make a call on coffee. Because I made another call, I made a call on coffee last year, which proved to be very, very good also. I recommended the buy at 96, it went up to 122, right? Orange juice, I recommended the buy. I super bro, I recommend the buy at. <laughs> and I recommended the buy at here, here. I actually recommend it here. Okay, let me check this here. 
I should recommend it here. Yeah, 118. Yes, 118. Yes, anyone else? 132. See? That is the kind of thing I'm looking for. Okay, so let's go back to this. Yeah, so I, I rather look into patterns like that, right? So, you know, if you're going to play in Forex or you're going to play in crypto, you're going to play in stocks, it's not easy to find those kind of patterns, but because we look and we find, we look at multi-assets, guess what? Just go and find patterns that have something like that, okay? And uh, then they're going to really go up. Now, let me show you another example, okay? This very important example, okay? That, and I'm going to teach you something today. If you are able to hold, and as I said, because we are trading the big trends and Darth Sidious, uh, the billionaire mentor, tells us the big trends, because if he says it's going to go there, then it's going to go there. As long as you size your lots correctly, as long as you are not uh, greedy and don't do anything stupid, you will make money, period. Okay, let's see. This is the recommendation I had in uh, Nigan in, in, in February here. Okay, in February here. What did I say? Let's see whether it happened or not. Palladium goes down. If you were trading this, I will even tell you what would happen uh, if you were trading this the way that normal people trade. Lah. You have your stop loss, lah, you, you do all your over analysis. Lah. In the end, you're going to lose money. But if you are able to stick with this position with faith, for the longer term, I can tell you, you are going to make money. And, and that's what we want to do. We want to be able to screw up and still make money because if you're not Screwing up and not making money is not good. No? So let's see. I, I... ABM. Not that we want to do this and run drawdowns in our account. Get drawdowns in our account is a problem, but, but I just want to show you this important point here. Palladium, palladium, palladium. Okay. Zero USD here. Put the prices that, that, that I put, which is based on me. Was that based on site? So I'm not sure. So let's see here. Palladium. Okay, let's go to palladium. No, it's not responsive. Okay. No. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay. You need really to understand this chart. Okay, USD CHF. Uh, this was when? Uh, when? When did I make this? This is in February, right? Uh, USD CHF, USD CHF, because I got, I got, I put in a lot of positions there. Um, okay, oh, it's not working. I thought it's not working. Okay, never mind. You go here. It's okay. So let's go to Palladium. Why that other chart is not working? Okay, so that was kind of made in February. Uh, here, 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 here. See, it came back, right? It still came back, right? Okay, it took time, but the important point is that the position still came back, and you could have pretty much uh, gotten out at break even. Done. See, short at 1580, 1625. Now let's see what happened in February. Oh, this was the second position. Oh, I, I didn't share this, right? Uh, let me share this. Let me share this screen here. Let me 
show you uh, the example here on uh, palladium. Here, share. Okay, because this was from our classes about two, three months ago, right? Yeah, about two months ago. See? That was in February, right? Yeah, around here. Yeah, around here. Right? And it still came back. That's my point. See, things don't go up forever. There's a way, right? And if you are going to the extreme or shorting or buying at the extreme, it will come back. So it doesn't matter if you're wrong. You can get out at a very small profit or at least you could have a stop loss here that would have taken you out, but a small stop loss, okay? Because you know things are wrong. Silver is short at 1580, uh, this one. This one happened, okay? Let's go look at silver again. Uh, let's go to this again. Let's go look at silver, which is XAGUSD. XAGUSD. That was around, uh, yeah. this was here, I think, yeah, this was here. Ding, 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 ding. So after these two tries, see February here, right? That, it went down. And here it went down by a lot. Done also, after how many weeks? Two, three weeks. See, now if you ask the regular Forex trader to, to do this, either he's gonna stop loss out or he's going to make very little profit. Understand? But if you look at the longer term, you know you can make big money, so your position is small. Why your position is small? So you can sleep at night. Understand? If the account needs to run to negative, it's okay. Because the structure was already pointing down. Huh? We know. Okay? Orange juice. Well, this one worked. Yeah, uh, we said it will go to 140 and 170. Well, it went to 132. Okay, so we were wrong. Swiss franc up. Okay, this one was let's see Swiss franc here. Swiss franc USD CHF. Yeah, say from here down. So that one worked also. Okay, and you know because you uh, if you're a student, you saw this two months ago, right? I'm just showing you that if you are trading over the longer term and you don't get worried or get excited about every single movement, you know, uh, and, and, and you, don't, you don't panic, it will possibly come through. So this one was break even. Uh, this one, no. This one, you should, a stop loss would have gotten you out anyway. Like it's now at seven, seven, six or something. So this one was, was not it. So you got it wrong. It cannot be perfect. But what I'm showing, throwing, showing you is that Without having any particular skill, you know, where you have to read all those chart indicators and all that. Let's go back here. Let's go back here. Without having, you know, without having the need, no, without having the need to have any real, uh, any, uh, chart indicators and all that. Uh, this is the reality. You can let me tell you what happened. This one was break even. Profit. 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 This one's done. So, what a break even? And I told you right. It's. We target 3,000, right? Target 1,000. What if the stop loss here is 500 to 1,000? It didn't matter. Over the long term, your portfolio is going to make money. But if you're short term, I don't know. Depends on your skill. If you are good, then you make money. If you are not good, you're not going to make money. So this is why, the, to me, to me, the guy who is able to remove himself from the screen and take a longer view will make money. Let me tell you that as a person who has over 400 students in Forex, in shares, in cryptocurrency, I see a lot of people, uh, and you can see this, and my students know this, I know he's laughing. They block, okay, 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 ok
You know what happened, right? Whereas I'm just still doing the same old thing daripada dulu. I'm being the same old boring me. Nampak tak? So that's why you have to adjust your yourself, okay? We're not here about excitement. Excitement, uh, I think there are a lot of other gurus out there that can teach you. Uh, if you want those exciting things, no, no, no. We are going to hold, 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 hold until it happens. And if the structure change, then we come out. It doesn't matter, right? You saw our win just now there. It's then. Okay, let me show you another example here. Okay. This was uh, actually last year. Actually last year. So, what did we say there? Uh, and I will issue another script in our class next week, okay? Now, this was last year. I said this is round one. Round one, round one, round one, round one. We said it's like this. Market will move higher in terms of volatility in October. Small crash in October. November, it will recover, showing signs of complacency. In December, all hell will break loose. This was in September of last year. Let's see the chart. I'm not God. But I got this information from the billionaire mentor and I'm going to show you what happened. And those of you who know what happened, eh? let's go here and uh, yeah. uh, let's go share the screen again. Share for you. Can you share the screen? Yeah, I want to share this. I want to share Google Chrome. No, it's not sharing the screen yet. Okay, we just share this. Uh, I don't know why my other, this one is not working. But okay, let's see SPX. SPX, let's change it to weekly. Okay, it doesn't matter if you know, just as long as you know how to read charts. So what did I say there? What did I say there? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, there will be a small crash in October. Can there will be a small crash in October? Betul, betul. Things will get complacent in November. Betul, betul. Can until December, and then in December all hell will break loose. Betul tak? Wasn't it accurate? Can error tak? I show you again. This is one of my previews last year. It came true, not because I'm clever, because. I put the information together from someone who knows what's going to happen. And we will teach you how to do that. And let me ask you a question. If you know this, couldn't you just take the trade and go to sleep and don't bother? Wait for it to mature lah. Then you make money, you get out. Okay? I'm telling you what's going to happen next. This is going to happen next for sure. Big gambar dulu. Wait, let me show you the name. Let me show you the near. Let's, let's go change it. Okay, take the picture. You got a picture right now. Take again the prediction here. Because I'm going to issue another prediction next week. Why? Because it's time. It's time. La. I, I have enough information to do it. Before this, I did not. And then you're just going to trade like that. So, right? Crash in October, November, signs of complacency. December, all hell will break loose. And then what did we say? We said this. Uh, we said that this market is going to do this. This market is going to come out like this and then down gun. Well, it didn't happen. It went straight up. Eh, like that. <laughs> so what's going to happen? This is what's going to happen. It's going to go up like that and then it's going to tag it down. That's it. So let's look. That's why I said next, next week is, is the time to issue the script again lah, so that you can trade and go to sleep. Then we'll see. Nampak ni. Look at this very, very carefully. Look, it's going to tag the top again. Nampak tak? It's very, very obvious. This thing is going to tag the top again. This one here. One, two, like that, like that. Like that, probably this. And then down. That's what's going to happen. And next week, we'll show you how we derive that formula and we'll draw a script so that you can trade. Now, if you know that the market is going to go down from here, you know what you're going to do. This is what you're going to do. You are going to do this. Uh, let, let, if, if this is your position, uh, you're going to try short from here. Okay, it goes down and then it goes back up again. It didn't work, you're short again and short again. 
until the thing gives up and go down. That's all you need to do. Remember last year what we said, short, 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 short. Happen again. Same thing, we're going to start, we're going to do this next week. Short, 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 until it happens. Don't in, out, in, out. Because you know why? We are at extremes. You know, I don't like to play in the middle, but can But we can play in the middle here going down. But that's just one example, okay? Oh, let me, let me, show, let me show you on this. Let me share this again. Sorry, let me share the charts again. Here. There. Okay, you get all you need to do here because you know it's going to come back like that. Okay, so this is what's going to happen to the market. It's very simple. It's going to go like that, and then it's going to go like that up, down. So you want to be here to short, 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 short. And I'm going to tell you how to do that without you panicking and Losing it lah. Okay, that's, that's the idea. You know, Pata. Because if you know a market is at an extreme, ready to make it go down, you want to put in a position, and yet, you do not want to be jumpy every single time, right? You do not want to be calling me every single time. It's not going to go down. It's like, I don't know. As long as you protect yourself, it can be done. So you put in the trick, remove the emotion, and wait. Those of you who are religious can pray too, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go back to our PowerPoint here. That's what we want to do, okay? Now, this is the big trade that, that Nila. So we're going to redraw all this. We're going to develop the script next week and then we're going to see the positions that you can go in. Okay, now, last six week prediction, last week prediction. Aussie bullish means Aussie go up. Euro bullish means Euro go up. CHF bullish means CHF goes up. Mexican bearish go down. Ruble, uh, ruble is bearish. USD bearish. Okay, now look at this Aussie, Euro, and also near. Uh, Aussie, Euro, and Frank. Let's, let's go look. Let's go look. Aussie, USD. This, I came with this. I do it on every Sunday. So please watch the group. Please watch my near. Please watch my uh, my WhatsApp group. This is on Sunday, right? So let's go. Uh, do I have a four-hour chart here? I want to show you four-hour. Fifth April, right? Monday was right. Fifth. One day was six, right? Six. Six, huh? So, here's the deal. Come out on 6 April. You buy here. If you are a Forex trader, you know what would happen. You've been stopped out here, right? But since we already told you this is going up, guess what happened after that? Did it go up? Yes. Yes. Yes, it did. Euro. We did the same thing. Swiss, did it go down? Yes. Look at that. Mexican, it hasn't happened yet. Uh, ruble, it hasn't happened yet. I have a position there. I'm not panicking. So I just have to wait it to go back up. I'm expecting this to go back up like that, okay? So I'm just waiting here. This looks like a very, very bottom. I might take another position there. So, you know, some things I just wait, I take another position. Some things, you know, it happened, it happened. Now, here's another thing. See, I'm showing you live things, and you can see on Sunday, VIX is bullish. Live cattle bearish. Lean hawks, extremely bearish. Ma'af to Badora, wrong Muslim, but I am showing this as a point. So you guys are, uh, yeah, you guys are probably, oh, this is very funny, it trades everything. Yeah, I trade everything that makes money, okay? It doesn't matter whether Forex, uh, crypto, uh, I mean, as long as it makes money, I want to be in the trade that makes money, okay? Uh, let's go here, let's go cattle and live box. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, 
Let's go this, right?